Greetings, friends. Okay, so I'm just doing another video because I thought, um, just doing like a diary sort of thing, I guess, me, me talking about my writing and stuff like that. Well, um, I guess it just helps me to think everything out and like map the actual process of like actual writing and everything as I go along the journey. And I thought for like this first official video of doing it, I'd talk about my actual influences and stuff. And we're just going to do this in one video, but I thought it's, it's actually quite a lot bit to talk about. So, well, you know, because, because of that crappy internet uploading here in Australia as well, and people's attention spans and stuff, and myself as well. I thought I'd try to keep the video a bit shorter and just, yeah, focus on first, do this in two parts. Focus my first part on just like my main influences in that have influenced my writing. Then in the second part, get into a bit more elaborate, different influences for different things, rah, rah, rah. So first to start off, yeah, I will just have to say my first, my main number one influence would have to be George Lucas. Like he created Star Wars, and the whole thing about that for me was it got me into like the sci-fi, it got me into fantasy, it got me into like using my imagination and everything. And I've always loved like the massive like the world building that's got into that, and not just something that he started, but it's been taken on and expanded by a lot of other writers and other film directors, everything as well. And it's become like this massive thing. It's like massive lore and every, massive lore and universe of its own with aliens, characters, technology, worlds, um, orders and everything. So I've always loved like, that aspect of it and yeah, it's character creation, world building and stuff. It's always something that I'm like, really into. So yeah, I think it's probably more sense to find that really suits me a lot. And, but, um, but in that, like, within Star Wars itself, it's like such a... It's like it's an Australian like adventure sort of story, sort of that. But you look into it. There's a lot of context behind. There's a lot of depth. There's like a lot of philosophical context behind it. And then you've got this philosophical um, philosophy, the spirituality, um, and like within the movies itself, you've got like you know drama, tragedy, love, romance, loss, um, redemption, the hero's journey, you know, the rise and fall sort of stuff. Um, and there's so many like themes and contexts that which has really grabbed me since I first saw the movies as a kid and as I got older, you know, to recognise the things and things appreciate a lot more. Especially when I really got into cinema and I've like and I've been able to sit there and actually you know, analyse the language of films and see a whole lot more behind it and stuff. So that's like really really got me into that. And so it's was definitely yeah, because like there's a lot of other writers and stuff I could mention that who've influenced, I've enjoyed their writing up those influenced me over the years now because I've been a massive fan of the books as well as the movies, a lot of the novels. Um, but really George Lucas is the one who started all, he made it, created the whole thing, so I, the props definitely has to go to him for that. Um, secondly, second up we have the R.L. Stein, who, you know, his Goosebumps series as a, came out just as up when I was a kid and just starting to read and stuff, so a lot of people my age I got into reading, by reading those books. And they were amazing, you know, he had this, this amazing talent to take a story and condense so much into such a, into such a small book. And, like, could easily, you know, the story there, it's like, they're like 20,000 word novelettes. It could easily be an 80,000 word novel, but he's taken that whole thing and shoved it all into this one little story. And there's just so much depth and context to it. And he has this amazing ability to tell, you know, to say so much with so few words. And his writing style is simple, easy to read, but yet there's so much behind in that, which is what always sort of really grabbed me about his work, and like I really loved. I mean, got me into reading, which in turn got me into writing that as well. So R.L. Stein definitely, you know, is right up there as well as my second biggest influence. And um, I reckon you could probably teach Stephen King or King or two about how to be concise when you're writing. <laughs> um, thirdly, um, probably have to be in J.R.R. Tolkien. And because, yeah, Lord of the Rings, I was I just turned 13 when the Fellowship, Fellowship of the Rings, the first movie, came out. And so, yeah, I grew up into my teen years through watching those movies, which were fucking amazing. You know, cinematic masterpieces, all three of them. I'd have to say, I'd probably have to say look, Peter Jackson would have to get, be a part of the pop snap as well because of that massive effort, massive achievement they did with making those movies. But, you know, Tolkien wrote the books originally. And of course, after I saw the movie, we got the books. And by the time the second and third movie came out, I'd already read the books several times. Um, but yeah, just like the books, the whole context, everything behind them, amazing storyteller. Um, his way of writing is amazing. His descriptions of everything, the world, whole world that he's built. And he did this all himself. Like other people I love, like Lucas, Josh Whedon, who I'll mention later and stuff. 
created like these universes and worlds and stuff. But then we did like they did like they did small part of us all growing on, but built on by other people from there. But he talking did all this in fucking self. And it's so amazing just how much detail and how much effort he went through. Like he created like languages and everything. There's like races, like places, a whole history and a whole mythology. It's just all within like the world of self. And so that's, that's something that's really grabbed me and has always like really appealed to me is that it's like really inspired me and influenced me in a massive way. And it helped really get me into fantasy and stuff as well a lot more. Because I've read, seen a few like fantasy movies before, then read a few fantasy novels and stuff. But it wasn't until then I started really getting into it because I was just at a stage where like I've gotten a few, a couple of years before that, I'd started getting into history and that a lot more. And that really helped me get into human history a lot more than that as well. I've seen the massive battles and stuff on the screen. It was awesome. Um, so, yeah, Tolkien is definitely a massive influence there. Then I'd probably have to go on to um, his character building as well, as well as his world creation is amazing. Like his, his characters and the depth and context they have to them, which is also the character building is another thing I love about Josh Whedon. Or Joe Sweden, however you say his name, was my next massive influence. He created the game, um, the Buffy the Vampire Slayer universe and Angel, and then he went on to do Firefly and Dollhouse, which wasn't that successful, but he's directed a couple of the Avengers movies and Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. But it's his Buffy universe that really got me into that show, and really got me into his, into his stuff, and it's really influenced me as a writer. Just through, like, you know, the universe, like, creation, the world building, and that all different monsters and the history behind them and everything, and the characters and the lore and itself, the universe. It's a, this amazing character building that there, because these characters are, like, so multifaceted, they're not just two dimensional. Like, I'd say more so than a lot of the characters in, like, Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, and stuff, which are great, well, well built characters, nothing wrong with them. But he's him to go to that whole, that next level of being, like, cause, like they're very real and human like, you know. I think it was, there's one episode where Buffy's talking to one of, like, someone she knows about something, and she says, like, she feels bad, like, she feels like she's better than her friends. And says, oh, so you have an inferiority in, inferiority complex about your superiority complex, you know, which for me is, like, so like, great writing the character design and everything, is that these characters have, like, fully-fledged personalities, and that's something that's really influenced me as a writer as well, in that this story, it's not just, like, you know, an action horror story, but it's got like drama, it's got like drama, love, romance, loss, you know, comedy and stuff all thrown in with it as well, which, you know, has really helped to make it feel and be a lot more real and three dimensional, which brings a lot more to the story, which I could say you know, really influenced me as well. And I guess I probably have to say, lastly, my main influence on the Last but certainly not least would be H.P. Lovecraft. Lovecraft, I didn't start getting into until I was in my early 20s. I started reading his stuff, and the past couple of years, I've really gotten started getting into that a lot more. But again, with, just, with the universe creation and that himself, he's created this whole new universe, this whole lore and stuff, which other people have helped add to it and everything, and it's built up on, over time. But it's definitely something, you know, something that he started and kicked off with. And yeah, he's like. <laughs> Because he didn't just like, create this like fictional universe sort of thing. He created like a whole mythology behind and everything as well, which some people swear is is real, simply because of the way it's been done by him and like his people in the Lovecraft circle that he that he hung out with, and, like his fellow Weird Tales writers and stuff. Um. So yes, and that really what I really loved about his style that influenced me was like his way, his ability to create like tension and atmosphere through writing and words. I've let a bit written. Red horror stuff and that before was always good in that, but it doesn't really suck you in the way his work does with like the way his things are written. So oftentimes I'm reading his stuff, you can put down the book and it takes you like it's always taken me like a little bit of time to like reprogram myself, bring myself back to reality. So I think you know, could it be real? So like, could this shit actually be real? Because it seems so real, mind like the atmosphere and the tension, everything he creates in it, it's amazing. Um not just that as well, but the way he blends genres and that like um his work so like, Cosmic horror, they call it Lovecraftian horror, is really a genre of its own because he's blended the influ um, influences and elements of not just horror but fantasy and sci fi as well. And has blended it all together to create something totally new and unique, which is something that's like really, I really love and it's really appealed to me. It's really influenced me in my own writing and stuff, along with um, Josh Whedon as well, again, with his ability, you know, with how he took vampires, you know. The thing that's been like flogged, it's been flogged to death and literature in Hollywood for a century almost, like before he came along. But then he managed to like 
put a whole new twist on and give it new life and sort of thing. I think it's something we've kind of been viewed as being like passe before he came along, but then he helped breathe like new life and that into it and became like this thing that took off again that's led on and just kept going on from there. But yeah, that's really influenced me in that as well. Um, so I think those ones, um, let's say George Lucas, um, Tolkien, HP Lovecraft. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but George Lucas, Tolkien, HP Lovecraft, Josh Whedon, and R.L. Stein. Those five are probably, yeah, <clears throat> my top five influences that have influenced my writing. As you'll notice through this video, I'm not editing it or anything, I'm just recording, speaking, as it is, raw, fresh sort of things, that's how I want it to be. I suck at editing this stuff, I don't like, really watch, want to watch myself bad talking, <laughs> so I just want to talk, and then yeah, that was it. But no, that's pretty much it for my top five influences that have influenced my writing and why. And next time, I'm with like my next video, I'll go into more specific um, influences, how, how my writing has been influenced by not just literature, but films, music, um, poetry, history itself, um, TV shows, anime, stuff like that. Look for a whole broad spectrum of things, and I'll go into more detail about that later. Cheers.